So today we are here to talk about the Visual Arts Extended Essay Criteria A. So let's read uh, what is Criteria A and what does it say. So Criteria A says focus and method which is six marks, strands, topic, research question and methodology. So there are points which is mentioned in the criteria which is like the topic is should be communicated accurately and effectively on the highest mark band. The identification and explanation of the research topic should be effectively communicated. The purpose and the focus of the research should be clear and appropriate. The research question should be clearly stated and focused. The research question is clear and addresses an issue of research that is appropriately connected to the discussion in the essay. The methodology of the research should be complete. An appropriate range of relevant sources and or methods have been applied in relation to the topic and research question. There is evidence of effective and informed selection of sources and or methods. So these are the strands of criteria A which says focus and method and mainly the introduction comes in place in this criteria or the introduction is judged on this criteria. Now while marking the criteria A, while marking the extended essay, we as an examiners we find the main weaknesses what the or the main mistakes what the students make in this criteria a like some misses some extended essay did not include the title of the essay that is one point when they did many essays provided a little that was more or less the same as the rq so basically there is no difference between the topic and the rq the methods and the primary and the secondary sources have we have seen were mostly appropriate some introductions have stated sources that were not consulted and methods that were not applied not providing appropriate not providing appropriate reasons for selecting a topic for investigation when student did most of the time this were very personal or of a trivial in nature not justifying not justifying the choice of sources or of methods so these are basically the weaknesses what we as an examiner find in while marking an extended essay in visual arts for criteria a so now i will talk about some recommendations or rather some advices i will want i would like to give you as an examiner Students should take the time to frame an RQ that leads to an argumentative and evaluative discussions. Your RQ should not be RQ should not be very obvious in nature. It should not have just an yes or no answer. It should be very argumentative in nature. You need to understand the difference between a more general title or a more focused RQ which is outlined on the EE website. So if you go to the EE website of IB, you will get to know the details of this. Now primary and secondary sources. Visual arts, if I go back here, uh, if you see the third point, methods and primary and secondary sources were mostly appropriate and not justifying the choice of sources and or methods. So here you can see the students or in visual arts extended essays must analyze the primary sources first and foremost such as art and artists. However, secondary sources should also be used to provide support to the point raised in the body of their essay. 
where student sources are used they must be support they must be used to support your own line of argument and not just as a substitute for it basically the secondary sources should be used by the students to support their argument like if uh, next in an extended essay when you are writing the body of the essay it's when you are supporting when you are giving your personal opinions you should also support your personal opinions with the secondary opinions and in again in visual arts extended essay very important that you use primary sources as much as you can just like taking an interview of that artist going to a museum going to uh, art gallery or going to uh, a place where you can take primary photographs uh, primary research documents so these are invaluable in terms of primary research so that is also an advice from me in criteria a which is mainly the introduction comes under criteria a and an introduction is very important for this purpose so I have a structure which I have taken from the Oxford IB Diploma E equals companion which shows the introduction should have these points clearly and or this aspect should be clearly outlined in the introduction. Like first you start with the context. Why did you choose this topic? What are the reasons we are choosing this topic? Outlines of the argument. What out argument it will come out? What is the scope? of this uh, extended essay what is what will be your scope of the research and why or why this important or why it is worthy of investigation basically this is the structure of a good introduction one of if you miss out any one of this definitely you are going to get low marks in your extended essay criteria a so that's all uh, this is all I can say about how you can improve your extended essay criteria A uh, and I hope this uh, information is of helpful to you and I wish you all the best for your extended essay journey.